Hi folks, this is another stall13.com video. We're going to talk about how to worm a horse. Kind of spooking the horse here. You can see their reaction in their ears. We're talking about their sense of smell and hearing. Okay, I want this horse to be a little spooked because most horses don't like to be wormed. We're not talking about worming schedules. We're talking about the actual way that you worm a horse. I have this box upside down and hidden because I don't have the permission of the drug company to use their wormer. But this is one of the better wormers on the market. Now, on a wormer, what you're going to find is a weight gauge. And it goes from zero to about 1,250 pounds. Most of the time, what you can want to do is you're going to want to give all the wormer to the horse. You can ask at your feed store. You can ask at your local horse doctor or veterinarian about that. I'm going to give this horse everything, even though it's another Icelandic. We're dealing with a pretty heavy horse here. The first thing that you want to do is you do not want to leave a horse tied up when you worm. You think it would be good control, but it's not. It's a recipe for disaster. What we're going to do is, is we're going to untie this horse, allow this horse to freedom. Folks, something's going to break. Either it's going to be you, it's going to be the horse, it's going to be the halter, the lead rope. Now, in most cases, it's actually a good idea to go ahead and let this horse bolt back if it's going to. Take this little cap off. Make sure that you've got your plunger all the way back. And what you want to do is you want to go into the corner of the mouth as far back as you possibly can, past the bit bar. That's kind of cute. I like it when horses smile. You want to put your left hand on the opposite side of the halter right here. Let go of the lead rope. But you can step on it to give a little bit of a deterrent. Take the plunger, put it in your hand, get ready to go. When you apply it in the back of the mouth, make sure you get it all the way back in there, as far back as you possibly can, push. Once it's there, twist to get it all off. Hold the horse's head up high, because this horse hasn't swallowed. There's a big pile of goo in this horse's mouth. You have to make them chew and to swallow, because if they don't, when they roll their tongue, they could spit that right out. So what you do is you massage on the outside so you don't get bit, massage the horse's face, move it around a little bit, and you get slobbered. Now notice how the horse is chewing and swallowing. It took the wormer. Notice this wormer applicator is nice and clean. Completely plunged. This is the way you worm a horse. It's very simple. As far as worming schedules go, we talk about them on the radio show quite a bit. And it really depends on where you are in the part of the country as far as parasite control. Parasites slash wormers, same thing. Parasite control, worm control, tomato, tomato. Well, this has been another stall13.com video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your horses.